Yeah, I thought the first couple innings kind of went to script. I thought Justin really competed well uh, early. We knew we were going to have to make some big swings at some point. Just didn't didn't get enough swings. But uh, uh, again, one of the strengths for us all year long has been our bullpen, and it got away from us a little bit. But um, we feel like we have enough depth to come back and give it a run tomorrow. So uh, I thought the, uh, again, the first five innings were well played, and then it got away from us a little bit. Questions for the student athletes. If you'll raise your hand, we'll uh, get a mic to you. Um, hey, hey, Justin, our Arkansas, I think they had 10 different guys get a hit. Just how tough were they, their lineup top to bottom? And obviously, Kerstad had a big day. What did you think of him? Uh, he was good. Uh, they're all aggressive hitters. Um, we knew that coming in uh, is what it came down to, is just executing pitches whenever you had to. And um, they just hit the mistakes like they should. I guess, Riley, what did you see off night that the others didn't as far as the two home runs and, and kind of what were the pitches and what were they? I just knew coming in he was going to try to beat us with a fastball. I mean, he has a powerful fastball. He's just going to get it by you. So first pitch, I was setting dead red, and I got it. And next at bat, I knew I wasn't getting it again. So I set slider and got it too. I guess for both you guys, Arkansas is 30-3 and three here at Baum now this season. How, how tough is it to come in here and try to beat them? You know, how, how big an advantage do you think they have here? Uh, it's a big advantage, um, you know, just coming in here and knowing that, you know, there's 9,000 people against you. Uh, it's kind of unsettling, but, you know, you, you, you just have to prepare for that. You know, it was, we were here last year. We knew what to expect, um, and we just didn't X you on the mound. It's a fun place to play. I mean, they got – Lots of fans, it gets rowdy, it gets fun, and it's a fun environment to play in. Just, Justin, from your perspective, what do you think makes Heston Kerstad such a tough out? Uh, I think he just sees the ball well. He has a pretty tall stance and just just sees maybe sees rotation. Um, but I think he just sees the ball deep and you know hits it the other way, and then whenever he has to, turn on a fastball if he needs to. Riley, I guess from behind behind the plate and trying to execute the pitch plan, what what do you see from Arkansas's lineup with everybody getting hits? I mean, they did a good job of battling at the plate. Every time we made a mistake, they jumped all over it. I uh, thought Justin made a lot of really good pitches. I thought guys out of the bullpen made really good pitches, and they just hit the mistakes. They're a good ball club. Any more questions for student athletes? Gentlemen, thank you very much. Thank you. Same thing for Coach Fulmer here. Raise your hand, we'll get a mic to you. Just on night, what did you think of him and his performance? He's good. I mean, uh, you don't go 10-0 and 0 in, uh, in that league and on the year and, and not do a lot of things well. Um, you know, he has good command, command of the fastball well on both sides. Uh, two different breaking balls for strike, a change up for strikes. He's athletic, he's competitive, he's got enough fastball. I mean, he's... He's good. He's really good. But I thought the one thing that we did really well is, uh, again, when you start looking at the numbers, we struck out two times in eight innings. Uh, you know, I thought we did some good things at the plate. I thought we saw him really well. Uh, but he just doesn't give you a chance to relax uh, because it's strike after strike after strike, and it's four pitches for strikes, and it's just an unsettling at bat. So although we didn't strike out a bunch, we didn't have a, a ton of hard contact. But he's good. He's really good. Coach, I guess you've had to play Arkansas four times now in the postseason since 2015. You had to play him three times over here, which is just how, how tough has it been to play him recently? And I guess what, what's been yeah. the difference I mean, for them? It, it, it's tough to play away from home for anybody. Uh, but you come over here, it's a great atmosphere. I think more than anything, they have good teams. <laughs> you know, you can talk about the home field advantage, and, and, and you know, that's part of it too. But uh, that's a good club. That's a good team. So I think as much as anything else, they got good players. They're well coached. It's a good team. Coach, you said the first several innings went as planned. Can you talk about what you th saw from Justin in that time? And then what, what pitch did Kerstad get him on? Well, it was something out over the plate. I'm not sure what it was, but it was a pitch elevated out over the plate. I think both home runs that he hit were, were elevated out over the plate, and he did a good job of uh, staying on them. But we knew Justin was going to give us a chance. He pitched well over here a year ago and, and kept us in the game. And, um, he's done that all year long. You know, he, he was uh, aggressive in the zone. He made some big pitches when he needed to. Uh, he kept his composure. He gave us a chance. 
uh, we knew we knew it was going to come down to how well our bullpen performed at some point. Um, and again, those guys, it, it got away from our bullpen a little bit. But uh, I thought Justin hung in there and gave us a shot. Arkansas had 10 different guys get his. Just how, what do you think of their lineup, top, top to bottom? Yeah, it's good. They have depth in the lineup. Um, and, and again, there was some damage done at the bottom of the lineup, too. I thought Biggers had several good at bats uh, today, and, and, and Grant was good, too. So uh, they have depth in the lineup. Um, you know, it's a, it's a good lineup, top to bottom. You just can't make many mistakes. And every mistake we made tonight was, was hit and hit well. I know we gave up. I don't know four or five home runs and and you know three or four doubles anyway and it was just one of those nights that every time we made a mistake um, they hit it and hit it well. Any more questions for Coach Fulmer? Yeah, Sue will go tomorrow, um, and he should be ready to go.